All right, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Wed. Mysterious JG here. We're hunting down some kind of Hong Kong biker dude who's criminally involved with Rupert Pelham, who's like, you know, Rupert Murdoch or Malcolm McDowell, one of them or the other. Um, basically, it was like, we're just, we decided we're going to take down Pelham because um, I thought we were upset because we were manipulated into killing Trevor Ackers. One of my subscribers pointed out accurately that, uh, well, you know, they took back the money they said they were going to give her, and they tried to kill her. And I'm not sure she gives a shit about the Trevor Ackers thing. If they hadn't, like, tried to kill her and take the money, she might have been fine. Now, my, my disagreement with the subscriber is based entirely on the fact that she looked surprised when Trevor Ackers got killed. But in fairness, they... Um, they moved to take away her money and then to kill her before she had a chance to really react. She might have just had like an initial like reaction, look like, oh wow, that's what you guys are about? I had no idea. Anyway, uh, call me if you need anything else. You know my number and uh, you know my price. And just wandered off. I, yeah, we don't know if that's how she would have taken it or not. They uh, decided to eliminate her. And that turns out to have been a pretty grievous error. So we're back. This is the classic, like, you know... Don't um, try to double cross a Super 70s badass, folks. It very rarely works out. Come on, say it! Say it! She's just not gonna say it. Every time I show up in an alley like this, I think I'm about to go into blood spray mode. Because they always set that up. How is he? A, how is she a monkey lady? I don't really get that. These guys are a pain in the ass because they block your bullets with their swords. It was retarded. But... All right, well it is a nice uh, factory. I feel better about that now. I apparently I got that from somewhere. I got that from either the dialogue or remembering this part of the stage from playing it when not LPing. I knew there was hidden points around here. That's awesome. The, this will... Yeah, I'm not buying any more gun upgrades, folks, because you really, to get the full feel of this game, have got to see all of her sword moves and all of her... Like, the guns just... You know, they, it's basically the same game. You're just using, oh, shotgun instead of pistols. I want to see all the sword stuff. One of my subscribers asked to see the sword stuff, and I think that was a pretty, uh, pretty good request. Pretty reasonable. Now, I remember this part as being a real pain in the ass. I hope I can do this a little more smoothly than the last time I did it. I'm not recording. Just that one in particular is really hard to get to, and I do not remember exactly how you have to do it. But I will definitely be doing it last. I'm already halfway dead, and I just totally missed my jump there. These guys are the problem because I can't just do my regular, my regular thing of the sliding. And she just got, like, a minigun right in the freaking face. Ah, yikes. Yes, yeah, might take me a couple tries, folks. Apologies right now. But she is putting a gun to the face of a monkey. Assuming that's her. And we don't even get to start there. I have to do this bit again. Bit ain't particularly hard, but... I guess they're all dead. That sucked. I'm not even gonna have full health when I start that section now. Jeez. There's the thousand points. to 
get that. Yeah, there's four of them, so... I don't think you have to make the jump I was attempting to make until you're going for the last one, though. So, all let's get Norton on, folks. No point getting ahead of myself. Sliding around is important because it puts you in slow-mo. Oh no, I can't die right after someone told me to taste their special sauce. And I totally missed what she said there, but uh... She keeps saying awesome lines, but uh... I think she's about to die. Something that involved me getting shot! guys very very quickly now to get my health back and not quickly enough yeah, I don't know exactly I remember there's a way to deal with the stupid guys with the masks and the swords and uh, it's just not coming to me right now so yuck kind of need to be able to do that to make this work Oh, you have to shoot their heads, okay. So you don't have to use the swords. Every time I tried to break out the swords to kill them, I was taking damage, because they'd get me they hit me at least once before they'd die. And that's not really how you'd work this game. You're supposed to like never get hit. Super matrixy bullets always miss you awesomeness. It's not about absorbing a ton of bullets and still fighting. It's it's not how the game works. Yeah, but anyway. So I have almost full health, and now I've remembered how to kill the mask guys, so. Ma 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 mask. Okay, go ahead. I thought I might be able to skip past the panoramic view. That's the pain of the ass one, folks. I was sliding. I was trying to slide anyway. Ice House of Death. a lot better for health than I had been up until this point, getting this far, but... I, you know, I wouldn't mind if they started doing that at this point. And I need to take out that big dude with a Gatling gun. See, he's just, uh... Hurting me from a distance, I think. You'd think they'd be talking in slow motion, they'd be saying... You and me Cute, of course, be going. Be awesome. But I'm not doing that. 
No, just die, damn it. Ice or whatever you have to do to, to not die. The guy's like rolling around like he's me or something. Killing me, is he finally like her? Is there a little X over by him? And what do I press now? X again? Damn it. I hit the wrong button. That wasn't good, folks. I really needed to kill him there. Oh, this is going to be an entire video of failure here. I take one more crack at this, but shit. Oh, I always hate this one. I don't know what it is about this particular uh, arena combat session. I, this, there's ones later in the game that I don't find this bad. And this again. Yo, I mean, let's go. What? Hey, yo, let's go. Hey, yo. See, this guy, you can't rely on her auto-aim to do it. She keeps aiming for the sword for some reason. Yeah, I should have called in six, shouldn't I? Okay, so she's coming out of this as cool. Ruby health. I don't think I can go fast enough to maintain any of my... Uh, maybe I can't have a little bit left. No, it's pretty much gone. Alright, like I said, one more shot at this before I uh, call it a failure video and just move on. Uh, there's the asshole himself. How am I supposed to shoot this guy when I can't even freaking see? Way to use your head. I'm sliding. I'm hitting the slide button. Sliding. I gave up on sliding after a while because it wasn't working. Maybe the guy was in my way. Protect me! Protect me! Damn it! Shit! Ah, protect me, protect me. Okay, good job. You protect me. That that's pretty much what I want you to do. Good job. Sorry, it's not me being a racist game. It's uh, people. It's the game. Don't hate to play them. Yeah, all right. That sucked. So, um, hopefully in the next video, I will not fail at this quite so much. But uh, that's going to be it for this video, folks. Sorry. Uh, when we come back, I'll keep fighting through the same arena combat area. Hopefully with a little bit more success. Feel free to comment on how I completely leveled up Ruby wrong and I should have given her swords or I should be using machine guns. I mean, I might try machine guns. It couldn't hurt. I just know that I've done this before. It just doesn't seem to be working. Uh, so far, it's nowhere near as many tries as it took me to do the diving through the air trying to catch the parachute thing, which luckily I got on the first try this time. Anyway, uh, so we'll be back for more in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.